Hey guys, today is uh, June 19. May historical event na nagaganap o na naganap sa araw na ito. Yan po ang uh, inauguration ng ating bagong uh, vice president, vice president elect Sara Zimmerman Duterte Carpio doon po sa Dabao. Panoorin natin ang kabuan ng uh, inauguration ng ating uh, bagong vice presidente courtesy of uh, PTV4 RTV Malacanang na po sa pamamagitan ng vlog na ito ay sabay-sabay nating panoorin ang makasaysayang inaugurasyon panunumpa ng ating bagong halal na vice presidente ng Republika ng Pilipinas Enjoy watching this momentous event this is this historical event is it uh, coincidentally Diba? kasabay ng uh, pagunita rin sa kaarawan ng ating pambansang bayani Dr. Jose Rizal Good day Smile, smile, smile God bless Isang puso mo, pangarap ka, kabutin mo Magsimula ka, pigitin mo Kapag naging ganap Langit ng pagsisikap Inyo nang malalasap Isa lang ang buhay mo Kung minus ka, gawitin mo Kung may naisang puso mo Pangarap ka, abutin mo Upang ito Kamit mo, magsikap ka, simulan mo. Isa lang ang buhay mo, kumilos ka, gamitin mo. Kung may naisang puso mo, mangarap ka, abutin mo. Magsikap ka, simulan mo, simulan mo, upang ito'y makamit mo. Magsikap ka, simulan mo.
Musika ipati sa bawat puso at isip Ikaw at ako, tayo ay Pilipino Isang bansa, ba't di magkaisa Isang tugo, isang lahi at musika Ang pangarap ko'y bansang mapayama Magkaisa sa pag-awit Ikaw at ako, tayo ay Pilipino Isang bansa, pati magkaisa Isang tugo, isang lahi at musika Ang pangarap ko'y bansang mapayama Oh, oh, oh. 
ับพ่อมายามาไหนลาดปันเตยปันตายมายาปังปาบุมบูหายตระบาหดเอตุกาชอนบูงานังปัดกะคาอิสาปากุลาดนังปายานขาไวยวัดโมดาฮิลสกาลิตโมดีมิมุบังสบีหินไนวัลลาชังตาลีโนสันดาตายุยมักกาสุดโตบิลังบิลิบิโนกาวินนาติงลายุนิน่ามักกาอิสัตตายุมาลินนาพิมพ์มาลินนาติงนางปิลิปินัสมาลินนาติงนางปิลิปินัสอีกินตัลโมอีกินตัลโมอีกินตัลโมข้าพเจ้าPresident Rodrigo Roa Duterte. May we request everyone to please settle down and proceed to your assigned seats. Our program will start in a short while. Once again, may we request everyone to please settle down and proceed to your assigned seats. Our program will start in a short while.
Once again, we request everyone to please settle down. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, please settle down. Again, please settle down. Please settle down, ladies and gentlemen. Again, everyone, please settle down. We are going to begin the program. Good afternoon, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the inauguration of the 15th Vice President of the Republic of the Philippines. Good afternoon, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the inauguration of the 15th Vice President of the Republic of the Philippines.
to formally start the program. Please rise for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem and the Tayoy Dabawenyo and for the Ecumenical Prayer. Dakal ka pagpasalamat na ito pagkuntaan tungod ta kay kaon ka upia si kay ka kamigimot langit way tano way langon na katatawan kahit kalibutan Kun Pasalamatan noy magbabayo Ka kay kaon pagbuhay ka kaupianan way kaalam to kanami no Vice President elect Honorable Sara Duterte, dakon kahalaan taka namin in tribo, Kristiano, Muslim, woy malumad ka ito tibok dabaw, kaka namin pag ampu manama, waro lain og salihan na ibulihino si kandin, bahit katuanan ka alam, giyahino ka kandin, na pagkinabuhi ayaw, o ka panalanginan ka lang na maotaw, punta luson, bisayas woy Mindanao. Salamat magbabayo, Bisan to langon, pamili Duterte kahit Davao City. Panalanginin no. Buhay no, malayat na umol. Way protection matagsak aldaw manama. Langon igsalig ko, doto nga na Jesus na amoy na yun manama. Salamat. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
فقال ربكم ادعوا لي استجب لكم امين يا رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين اياك نعبد واياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين امين نشكر الله العظيم ومير ان ليسارا دو ترتي كارفيو على ما قدمت لنا في دابوسيتي من الخيرات الكثيرة طول مدتها في عمدة دابوسيتي ما سكان مدينة دابو من المعاملات الإنسانية مليئة بالمحبة والوداد بين أتباعها سواء أكان مسلما من بنسا مورو المتواجدين بالمدينة أو كريستيان أو لومد على حد سواء ونشر الله لها التوفيق والنجاح Iman Sabiha Al-Jadis Vice President Ala Mustawa Al-Filippin Mindanao Bisayas Luzon Antakum Al-Wajib Li Istimrar Al-Aban Wassalam Baina Shab Watanina Al-Filippin Li Agri Taqaddum Wal-Izzihar Fi Baladina Al-Habib Al-Filippin Wala Nansa Annadu Allah Ta'ala Li Ikhwani Hiba Al-Tawfiq Wal-Sadad Amsar Kongresman Paudu Duterti ومايور باستي دو ترتي النجاح في أعمالهما وأن يصدر خطاهما برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين وأيضا لا ننسى أن نسأل الله العظيم أن يحفظ لنا حبيبنا الغالي تعطي من فيليبينز يرنينا الرئيسين ديكون رودريغو دو ترتي على ما قدمه من الأعمال الجليلة في تحسين أوضاع بلدنا الحبيب الفلبين ويطول عمره برحمتك يا رحم الرحمين والحمد لله آمين يا رب العالمين بقينوون بو نامين جوس أما نامين بقى بانجاريهان سلاحات بوم بوسو بو كامين نقبابا سلامات سنا ماما لاغي نامين بوهاية لقاس مقين نان لواناك نان آمين كاسيبان Salamat din po sa iyo, matagumpay at mapayapang na isagawa ang halalan sa aming bayan. At ngayon, nakatakdang manumpa ang inihalal na pangalawang pangulo ng aming bayan. Sana po, ito ang lagi nilang maalala, ito nawa ang maging gabay nila sa pagtupad ng kanilang mga pananagutan para sa ikabubuti ng aming bayan. Panginoong Heso Kristo, pakipamagitan mo po kaming lagi sa Ama para mapatawad din ang aming mga pagkakasala. Dinggin ang aming mga panalangin na isa po rito ang pagkakaisa ng lahat ng mamamayang Pilipino para sa kapakanan ng aming minamahal na bayan. Umaasa rin po kami, Ama, patuloy mong gagabayan ang mga namiminuno sa aming bayan, hindi lamang upang pantay-pantay na maipatupad ang batas at katarungan, kundi makapamalagi rin ang malaya na paglilingkod at pagsamba sa iyong pangalan. Umaasa po kami, narinig mo't ipinagkaloob ang aming mga padalangin sapagkat hinihiling po namin ang lahat sa pangalan po ng aming Panginoong Heso Kristo. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this great Assembly of our beloved and chosen people for every seat and place that has been filled and those who witness far and wide in these historical events to join and celebrate this momentous gathering. Its mind and hearts are filled with awe and wonder especially here in our beloved city, city of Dabao. Almighty and loving Father, you will that men and women be chosen to govern your people in your name. 
They are chosen to serve our country in leadership roles. We lift up the Vice President-elect, Her Excellency Sara Zederman Duterte Carpio. Grant, O Lord, that she be given the strength, courage, and protection to dedicate her whole life to public service. May the commitments of our beloved Inday Sara Mayor to serve the Filipino people be guided always with love and enthusiasm in your name. Give her peace and fulfillment when her work sometimes take her away from her family. Heavenly Father, we pray that as she serves our country, guide and bless also her father, beloved Mayor, former President Rodrigo Rua Duterte, bless her as a woman, wife, and a mother. Bless also all the Bawinius and Mindanawans. We ask you to be always near to near her in all her efforts to serve the Filipino people with love, compassion, efficiency, and fairness. And when the call of justice is challenged, guide her with wisdom and integrity that our your kingdom may reign in our beloved country. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, let her decisions and works redound to your honor and glory. Bless all her decisions. Bestow on her the wisdom and the strength and surround her with advisors whose heartless beat for the good, if not for the best, and for the good of our country. Sustain her to fulfill what she believes and thinks for the good of every Filipino people. May Jesus, our Lord, the source of all holiness and goodness, fill her heart with peace and love as she strives to serve with all the faculty and wisdom you provide in her office as the second highest place of service to our country. May the mantle of the Blessed Virgin Mary and her example of Magnificat be her guiding light. We pray that unite, that unite us all, allow your love to heal and act as one. You all this we pray and ask in the name of Jesus, our Lord. May your inday padayon sa pagkaisog, padayon sa pagkamatinabangon, padayon sa pagkabuutan. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Please be seated. this point, let us welcome Mr. Andrew E. and Mr. Niel de Mesa for an intermission number. Bit-bit ko ang sambayanang Pilipino yung katuwaan nila sa puso nila. Kaya congratulations po, Madam Inday Sara. Congratulations po. Dabaw pa hindi nakigay. Dabaw pa hindi nakigay. Dabaw pa hindi nakigay. Parang ito pinaka maingay ah. Parang ito. Siya isang simpleng tao, aking napatunayan. Idolo ng marami at hindi ng kaibigan Sa ay kasama ko sa buong kapuluan Umikot kami at siya'y aking sinamahan At talo na ngayon naging bibi ka na 
Humanga ako sa isang Inday Sara Andrew i Inday Sara Side by side Pinoto ka ng sambayanan Ng landslide EMVP si Inday Sara Everybody sabay sabay Pipi na si Inday Sara Magingay Pipi na si Inday Sara Pipi na si Inday Sara Pipi na si Inday Sara Magingay Pipi na si Inday Sara Magingay Pipi na si Inday Sara Magingay Pipi na si Inday Sara Pipi na si Inday Sara Pipi na si Inday Sara Magingay Oh! Bagong Pilipina Oh! May prinsipyo ba isa? Oh! Kaibigan nyo! Kaibigan ko! Siya si Inday Sara Oh! Bagong Pilipina Come on! May prinsipyo ba isa? Oh! Kaibigan nyo! Kaibigan ko! Siya si Inday Sara Sinabi ko pangalan, sabihin apelido, okay? Okay? Oh, Inday Sara! Oh, Inday Sara! Come on, Inday Sara! Oh, Inday Sara! Come on, Inday Sara! Ang aming bagong bi- Presidente, break it down. Congratulations, po, Madam Inday Sara Duterte, Ma'am. May bosses na po ako. Pwede na po tayo magcampaign ulit. Maray po salamat. God bless Pilipinas. Thank you. Para pa naman natin ang nagisa at magisang Andrew E. Sabisa ng pagmamahal, paggalang at respeto ng ating pinakamamahal na Inday Sara Duterte sa ating mga kasundaluhan, sa ating mga uniform personnel at mga araw.
mga kababayan. Ang susunod na Vice Presidente ng Republika ng Pilipinas, Inday Sara Duterte! Tayong nakikita Humapagaspas Sa hangin Daladala rin Ng alon Lilipad tayo Lilipad tayo Ipagpapatuloy Ang pagbabago Itatanguyod Ang bawat Pilipin sa kanyang talino Aahon tayo Lilipad na ang agila Magtatanggol Magmamahal sa ating bansa Lilipad na ang agila At bagong araw At pag-asa kanyang dala Tayo sa paglipat sa taglay niyang lakas hindi tayo matitipad sa kanyang puso ay titibay tayo tatatag tataas lilipat tayo Mr. Andrew E. and Mr. Niel de Mesa. And now for the administration of oath of office to Vice President-elect Sarah Zimmerman Duterte, may we call on Supreme Court Associate Justice Ramon Paul Hernando. May we request on stage President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. and Mrs. Elizabeth Zimmerman Duterte to witness the oath-taking.
this point, we now call Vice President-Elect Sarah Zimmerman Duterte for the administration of Oath of Office. Good afternoon, Madam Vice President-Elect. You will be taking your oath pursuant to Section 5, Article 7 of the Constitution as the duly elected Vice President of the Philippines. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, I Sara Zimmerman Duterte, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will faithfully and conscientiously fulfill that I will faithfully and conscientiously fulfill my duties as Vice President of the Philippines my duties as Vice President of the Philippines preserve and defend its constitution preserve and defend its constitution execute its laws execute its laws do justice to every man do justice to every man and consecrate myself and consecrate myself to the service of the nation to the Gentlemen, the 15th Vice President of the Republic of the Philippines, Vice President-Elect, Sarah Zimmerman Duterte. Assalamu alaikum to our foreign guests sa aking mga kababayan magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat maayong hapon sa inyong hangtanan one of the most important lessons I have learned as I navigate life and the same thing that I believe we should ponder upon as a one country united in our determination to overcome our difficulties and achieve 
our aspirations is that we should commit to the to heart the priorities of God, country, and family. My life is a testament to the power of a God whom we know by many names. My younger self was consumed by a dream to become a doctor. I pursued a pathway that I thought could help me realize that dream. But I was directed toward another way. And now, I am a lawyer. When I committed myself to governance and public service, I was also determined to finish three consecutive terms as mayor. That will not happen anymore. I am now the vice president-elect. The voice of 32.2 million Filipinos was loud and clear. With the message to serve our motherland. And this message has been reiterated in my oath to consecrate myself to the service of the nation. There is a God, a God whose will transcends the desires of our hearts, one whose will directs us to the way that we might not have imagined, but a way that consecrates ourselves every day to help our fellow men overcome the difficulties they face in their lives, to change lives, to save lives. If you all take a moment to listen to the call to serve and decide to heed the call, in the same way that many are already devoting their lives as hard-working farmers and fisher folk that ensure that there is food on our tables, dedicated health workers who help the sick, brave soldiers who fight for our country, honest and fair entrepreneurs who support our economy, patient school teachers that guide our children. I believe the country will be heading towards a future of hope, security, strength, stability, and progress. Today, we celebrate the life and works of our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal. May his memory light up the fire within us to become patriots. Rizal taught us that selflessness and sacrifice could change our country's fate and shape our children's future. The bravery of Rizal completes the fabric of our identity as Filipinos. Magkasama sana tayong bumangon bawat araw kasabay ang nag-aalab na pangako sa ating mga puso na mahal natin at patuloy nating mamahalin ang Pilipinas hanggang tayo ay nabubuhay.
Let us show our love for our country by taking care of our families and communities despite the unending challenges that come their way. Today is Father's Day. This is a time for families. But you are here with me. Dagang salamat sa inyong pagtambong o pagkuyog kanako ni Ining Adlawa. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers who make sure that another person is given the best of everything. Today, our children are facing a very complex future, one that is rife with conflict and uncertainties. Some of these challenges include the winding cycle of poverty, the trauma of broken families, the lifelong baggage because of irresponsible and bad parenting, the abandonment issues due to an absentee parent, the anguish of gender confusion and discrimination, the destruction brought about by drugs, the lure of easy money in criminality, cases of HIV and other sexually transmitted diseases. The failure to identify and speak up against different kinds of abuses. The life-altering effects of teenage pregnancy. The detrimental effects of illiteracy. The emotional injury of bullying unstable mental wellness, recruitment to support terrorism, misinformation in the internet. The list could be endless. A strong, loving, happy family sets down all the basic foundations essential in the development and growth of a child. At home, parents have the duty to teach children the values of integrity, discipline, respect, and compassion for others. And we should never forget that it is the duty of each Filipino family to emphasize that education begins at home. Atong isilsil sa ilang alimpatakan na ang maayong pamatasan, edukasyon, o pagpaningkamot maoy magdala kanila palayo sa kinabuhi nga puno o kalisod. Padulong sa maayong kinabuhi nga ilang ginahandong. We should not as we cannot afford to squander the future of our children. The days ahead may be full of challenges that call for us to be more united as a nation. But let me reiterate this. We can never go wrong if we are a people de dedicated to honoring the will of God, to serving our country and our fellow men, and protecting the integrity of our families and the future of our children. Ako po si Inday Sara, a proud Dabawenya. Very proud. A proud Mindanaoan. 
Hindi ako ang pinakamagaling o pinakamatalinong tao sa Pilipinas at sa mundo. Ngunit, walang makakatalo sa tibay ng puso ko bilang isang Pilipino. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas! Dagang salamat! Have the photo opportunity with Vice President-elect Sarah Zimmerman Duterte. May we request President R Rodrigo Roa Duterte, Mrs. Elizabeth Zimmerman Duterte, and Associate Justice Ramon Paul Hernando to join the Vice President-elect. For the second batch, may we call former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo to join on stage. Thank you, Associate Justice Hernando and former President Arroyo. And for the third batch, the Vice President-elect with her parents, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte and Mrs. Elizabeth Zimmerman Duterte. For the fourth batch, may we call on stage the Duterte, Zimmerman, and Carpio family members to join the Vice President-elect and her parents. Mr. President, Mrs. Zimmerman Duterte and family. At this point, the Vice President-elect will be joined by her spouse, Attorney Manases Carpio, and their children, Micaela Maria, Mateo Lucas, and Marco Digong.
Carbio, Attorney Carbio and Children. The Vice President-Elect will be joined by President-Elect Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., his spouse, Attorney Lisa Araneta Marcos, Ilocos Norte District 1 Representative-Elect Sandro Marcos, and Senator Aimee Marcos. President-elect Bongbong Marcos and family. Ladies and gentlemen, that ends the inaugural ceremony. Once again, thank you, Mayor President Rodrigo Roa Duterte for your presence in this momentous event. Thank you and congratulations, Vice President-elect Sarah Zimmerman Duterte. And to all of you, daghang salamat!
To those who wish to have a photo with Vice President-elect Sarah Zimmerman Duterte, kindly proceed to the Quezon Park. Our ushers will guide you. Again, to those who wish to have a photo with Vice President-elect Sarah Zimmerman Duterte, kindly proceed to the Quezon Park. Our ushers will guide you. Once again, thank you and good evening. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.